beginning of uh, this month of May, uh, there was a big uh, protest happening in Spain due to the crisis in the Spanish state. So since then, there has been several countries where there have been assemblies in the main places of the cities to discuss uh, how we can support this and broaden up uh, to other struggles or the local struggles. It all started because uh, Spanish people that are living here got together to try to support what was happening in Spain. And then this got a bit broader because of course there is other people, not only Spanish people, that want to join in solidarity or support this and to create a link with the struggles that are happening here so we can form a, a bigger thing. And well, it's been interesting because we have been doing assemblies every night and in these assemblies we have had to discuss and come across a very difficult uh, decisions and discussions, political discussions, but I guess that's all part of forming something, so that's why we all keep on going. Assemblies uh, come, well, from a different places, uh, different routes, but uh, the main basic things is that it's run by the people, it's popular assemblies, and that means that should not be any, or try to not have uh, as less hierarchies as possible, and as horizontal as possible, and then that means that we all have to take decisions together in and decide on all of these steps. So how to make decisions has to be decided by the assembly, how it will run has to be decided by the assembly. And it's not one model because each assembly can decide different things. The point is that uh, all the assembly feel comfortable and with the decisions made and that everything that is put in the agenda is also decided by the whole assembly. So it's sort of a popular way of organizing big groups and to make it horizontal. But it takes time, of course, because everybody speaks and, you know, discussions come. Yeah. Uh -huh. In this assembly we decided that we, do, we would do a consensus decisions uh, or a strive for consensus and there was a point because of uh, the broad political, uh, you know, people from different political backgrounds there are some decisions that are really clashing, so we said if there is a decision that took so many, so much time, then there would be a voting, and only the voting will be valid if there is a 90 per, only 10 percent that disagrees with this, and then we would try to to, to make these 10 people 10 percent to come in. But if not possible, then we do the just to move further. No, I think it goes both ways. I think that uh, here. And that's my personal opinion, there is a, 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 everything is very fragmented, so people are concentrated in specific issues or scenes and then it's very difficult to connect and therefore we are not so powerful because we need to be a, a mass or no. So I think that there should be more people joining this, but I think that they should also join the struggles that are here. So it's both ways and I keep, I have tried to make it clear in the assembly several times that it's not only about coming here and to be in solidarity with Spain now, but also with Middle East, with Latin America, with uh, Dutch housing policies, with everything that is around us. No? It's one struggle we come from the people. I would never use a national uh, um, a standard for a revolution because countries definitely were imposed and they don't come with any revolutionary uh, for me not comes from not anything from the people or from the grassroots uh, we can learn from the struggles that have been uh, happening around in different uh, places and they normally talk about the, the people the struggle the campesino struggle the you know education struggle you name it but uh, you cannot compound it in a border of a country because it escapes all of this uh, and there I guess in my experience in Latin America you see more how uh, yeah we have always tried to break these things because we are connected with bigger things um, so yeah it's not Spanish it's not Greek it's not uh, Middle East it's a people's revolution everywhere no? I would love that this assembly at some point realizes that they are they should not be here only for Spain we are in Netherlands and these people, most of them live here, so we, if we are coherent with this, we need to engage with the local problems, wherever you are. If you are in your country, if you are not in your country, you have to engage in the people's struggles and then, you know, join it. So I think here from the assembly it should come a spirit of joining uh, Dutch struggles and the other way around, it, from the Dutch uh, society or the struggles it should come up across a bit more of joining other things that are not the usual things, let's say.
I have seen some groups of the Netherlands people uh, here today, so that's really good. People that not necessarily have joined the other assemblies and came today to show some support. And that's nice. Uh, we'll see because these assemblies will continue going and I hope that they are not going to stick with the Spanish side of it. Would you like to add something? Um, I don't know, I think it's really good that there are assemblies. I think that that's a really useful tool uh, because we should discuss our politics. We should discuss these things that are difficult to discuss and should try to find common ground to make something uh, powerful. Uh, but I think that also we have to do, parallel to assemblies, we have to do and the, to show that we're here and we're not going to move and do a bit of confrontation as well in the good way or bad way, whatever. Ha, 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 ha.